Damn, bro. Well, it's good. Uh, I see you uh, took my advice. Yeah, I mean, I started doing that stupid rapper thing, but look at look, look I didn't really give you sustainable results. So hey, whoa, doing some other stuff. Like what? Well, I'm, I don't even know if I should tell you. It's pretty. It's pretty next level stuff. I mean, I'm down for whatever. I mean, the first thing I started with was I just started doing a whole thing of creatine a day, and that's been pretty dope. I mean, I haven't peed in like a week, right? But uh, but like I feel like I look pretty freaking stacked. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd say so, man. When you say whole thing, you mean like a whole jar? Like a, a whole jar, whole jar okay. like the extra right. big, extra large jar, no water, dry scooping. Got it. Got it, okay. Why yeah. is that so funny? No, I'm just thinking that's going to be a mean kidney stone. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, it, it clears it out with the next thing I'm going to explain to you. Really? Okay. Yeah, so like there was this bodybuilder was trying to get me to be enhanced and I'm not about that life, you know? Yeah. So there's this stuff called equipoise, like a horse steroid. And so he said another way to do it would be to, he actually kisses horses to get the similar effect. And I thought that was freaking so weird. So yeah, definitely. So what I did was I kind of just took it to the next level and I just decided that like milking and drinking horse semen would probably give me a, a similar effect. Yeah, now nah, I'm just confused. How do you actually get the How do you get that like you put it in a cup like It's actually a really interesting story. So you got to get the sleeve. Yeah. And you got to get them really hyped up, right? Okay. So you got to get them really excited. You got to get in their face and you got to really get them ramped up. You kind of turn around a little bit. So you got to like kind of like give them a little a little like look at it. Yeah. But you don't want to let them in, right? Obviously. Yeah. So right when they're about to jump on you, you turn around. And then you got the sleeve. Okay. You got the sleeve like this. You got to grab their back hind leg. Okay. You got to stick it in there. This wow. thing is huge. Like yeah. this thing is going behind you like yeah. at least two feet. Yeah. So then you're holding onto this thing. They're jarring. You're, you're holding on their okay. leg. They're, they're going to send you like to the moon. Yeah. And you got to really hold on. You're dead. Yeah. Seriously. This is like life or death shit. So once they come, you feel it like just a just explosion behind yeah. you. So now you got these alternating forces it's kicking you this way you're holding on to this ejaculate pushing that yeah. way it's gonna like rip you in half essentially mm -hmm. you, that's what made me kind of probably get all this muscle in, in so little time too yeah definitely it's part of the workout yeah so then it, it, it you grab it out and you've got this huge huge shaker cup yeah and you think it's disgusting right yeah but it just tastes like mother's milk I think I'm gonna just stick with the rapper. That sounds. That sounds. Are you serious though. about this or what, man? Because you seem pretty serious last week, and you're over here doing handstands. Yeah, you're but... showing off to everybody. It's it's it was kind of it was bullshit to be honest. I just I just can't. Cause like when you did this with the with the semen, with the mother's milk, yeah. I just couldn't imagine like the, you know. I just that part. you're so soft. Yeah, but I mean, look at you. I mean, do you, you, ate, do you, you ate you ate wrappers. Yeah, I mean, I thought that week. was pretty tough. I didn't think you were gonna come back here saying like, "Oh, look at me, dude. I'm, you know, I'm consuming pounds of granite." Oh, I told you how soft you were. <sighs> All right, fair. Look at you. You deflated like a like a little balloon. Yeah. Look at I'm pumped up on creatine and horse semen. You got any like other workouts maybe that I could try? Yeah, I've been. Uh... I don't know if I should talk about this on camera. I'm a little emotional about it. Just how many I've killed just today. Okay. What are you talking about? <sighs> Bro, I don't, I don't know what you have to bring this, but I've been ripping 300 live lobsters in half every single day. Oh, my God. I've already done 150 this morning. I've, got, <laughs> I've still got 150 to do this afternoon. It's not funny, man. No, it's not. No, no one should be laughing right now. They scream. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny dk. And if not, then enjoy this one. Holy fuck! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Can you hit by that car? Mr. 
Ad-lib weed. 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 Ad-lib weed
Do you go to the sunken place when you get your period? <laughs> I I would make the argument yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and if I'm wrong, whatever. <laughs> Lay into us. I'll just say it. Who cares? I'm a dude. I I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's why that's why it's funny. Yeah. The more ignorant I am, the funnier it is. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. It's not like the sunken place. Yeah. It's more like superpowers. Yeah. And then they can. Does the period come out of its own hole? Yeah. There's the period hole. Yeah, is there one? Yeah. <laughs> period. No, you okay. know it is. Okay, I do know this much. What? It's like you know, you know, the blood is like the inner lining, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I, I've always said that uh, women are like spiders because like they, they technically mulch. <laughs> what? They mulch. What is mulch? Like when a like when a spider like gets rid of its casing. Okay, okay. You know, like you know, like when a snake like undoes right, its skin, it's right. the same thing. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so they're they're insects. <laughs> no reptiles. Reptiles. Spider is not a reptile. Yeah. Are they insects? Yeah. What's a spider? A rat. Oh, it's a rat. We're both wrong. Yeah. I no, I didn't claim that they are insects. I said spiders are sexy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I respect it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nah. Arachnids, hot as hell. Yeah, yeah. Bad. Bad as fuck. <laughs> That's why they got big asses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Arachnid. <laughs> Anyways. So, man. you just finished saying you did not watch the Severance finale. Actually, should we say, we should save this for the last 10 minutes, I think. Yeah? Oh, no, 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 because you didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I was totally, I wanted to talk about it, and I was you know, really expecting to just I'm a petty person, it, and you? I just did it just to spite you. Did you? For all the weeks that you're like, ah, <laughs> I'm on week three or whatever. I've been watching people kill each other on Yellowstone. <laughs> I pull up the finale, and I'm like, you know what? I'm a blue ball him. <laughs> you no. fucker. No, I, I, we went to see a... Uh, me and Cash, we went to see, uh, what was it? The new A24 film? Everything, oh, Everywhere, yeah, All yeah, I've heard that's incredible. It's a crazy-ass movie. I want to watch it again. Yeah. Like, yeah. was it good? Was yeah. In a good way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was uh, It was interesting. I'll, I'll wait till you... We're just blue-balling everyone now. Yeah, seriously. All the f- all the film nerds like, oh, I thought you were going to talk about Severance. Yeah. I really wanted to talk about it. Was the, it? Finally, it's good. I, t- I knew it. I knew it. I know, but it like it t- took nine episodes. That yeah. doesn't normally. I mean, the whole show was good, that's but a, this episode finally, you're like, things are starting to fall no, into that's place. That's a good blowjob right there. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Just point. Eight hours of foreplay, and yeah. then right at the end, you're like, woo! Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna watch. What, what's the movie called? Uh, Everything, everything, everywhere, all at once. I'm gonna watch that, and I'm gonna come here, and you'll be like, "It's like I didn't actually watch it." Yeah, like yeah. you fucker. Yeah, it's all it's all one big ruse, man. Hey guys, we want to take a quick quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Now imagine, everyone, you're shopping on one of your favorite websites. When you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, bam, you just watch the prices drop. Yep. I went to a wedding this weekend, and I had to buy a bunch of stuff online to get myself ready for the big day. Yeah. I'm talking socks, yeah. belts, yeah. socks. I saved a bunch of money thanks to Honey. Uh, Honey just doesn't doesn't just work on my desktop. It also works on on my iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, uh, you do yourself solid. Um, and you can support the show. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com/tmg. That's joinhoney.com/tmg. I can't believe you didn't watch the Severance finale. I wanted to. I got home. Three fucking days. I got home from the movie, and I was like, I'm going to watch this. And then I just sat down and just. Yeah, that's fair. That's because you're soft. Yeah, it is because I'm soft. It is. Yeah. I'm a little and you're baby. deflated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You had to take a little 
nap, a little baby nap. Stop it. Yeah. You're fucking making me sad. <laughs> 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 um, okay, guys, we got news. We do. Ben and Emil, uh, the hosts of The Trillionaire Mindset, which is a podcast that we produce. Yeah. Um, they are going to their own channel. Yes, they are. And I know we've said this before, but they've officially now left the ship, I guess. Technically. They're still wandering around. Yeah. They're just on their own YouTube channel now. Yeah. And um, actually, they, they we have a little promo video that we like to play mm -hmm. promoting the new channel. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind just for a second checking this out, and then we'll be back to back to the episode. And now we don't just click this mouse. Click subscribe and you got it. Oh, wow, great job. Uh, Hi everyone, Dolly here just subscribed to The Trillionaire Mindset, the brand new podcast that's sweeping the nation. That's right, dozens of people just like Dolly trade down on Wall Street every day, but where do they go for their stock market news and entertainment? MSNBC, CNBC, Fox Business Channel, it's all crap. That's why we created The Trillionaire Mindset, the show about the stock market, for the stock market, and by two morons. We curate and condense all the news you need to know and make it fun. Whoa, slow down, Emil. That's not all we do. We also cover subjects such as big tech, crypto, and how to send explosives to the White House. That's right, we're not like those other finance channels, spouting out clickbait about interest rates, bonds, index funds. Ben, did you just fall asleep? <gasps> oh, God, I'm sorry. It's just so boring. But luckily, we're not. Don't just take our word for it. When I first started watching Trillionaire Mindset, I didn't know what a stock was. Now, I still don't know what it is, but at least I lost a lot of money. I attribute all of my monetary successes to the Trillionaire Mindset. Before I invest in a company, I run it by Ben and Emil. If they say I should, I don't. Are you saying that I lost everything? Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Now, you're probably wondering, this all sounds great, but where do I fit in? Well, I need you to take out your phone or laptop computer and go to www.youtube.com slash trillionaire mindset and smack that subscribe button. <laughs> That's right, Emil. And once you do that, you become a member of an exclusive club called the Trillionaire Mindset YouTube channel. After that happens, you get three of your friends to sign up they each get three of their own friends to sign up, and then it just continues onward forever. What that's going to do is get us more money. And at the end of the day, <laughs> that's all that matters. Now, we've made a little chart for you. You can see here, as subscribers go up, so does our income. Huh. It's a perfect system. It really is. To maximize growth, we're moving all of our videos off of the TMG YouTube channel and onto our own channel. And there's just three easy steps we need you to follow. That's right. Number one, mm -hmm. steps. Nope. Number one, subscribe. Number two, tell your friends. Mm -hmm. And number three, relax. Just calm down. <laughs> it's going to be bigger, better, faster, taller, shorter, smarter, angrier, happier, sadder, and exactly the same, all at once. I've watched every episode. Now my parents are dead. I'm unemployed, and there is shit all over my pants. Hi, I'm Noel. Ben and Emil are so good at podcasting, they make me want to quit. If you don't want to watch The Trillionaire Mindset, go fuck yourself. Hello? Hello? And one more thing. Stanford Business School has over 1.3 million subscribers on YouTube. Unacceptable. We think we can do better. So with your help today, we can be even bigger tomorrow. The Trillionaire Mindset, a Ponzi scheme you can trust. Subscribe now, and after you do, give us a call at 619-289-TRILL. That's 619-289-8745. Leave us a message, and maybe we'll give you a shout out on the show. Bye for now. So yeah, they'll be on their own YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash trillionaire mindset. YouTube.com slash trillionaire mindset. <clears throat> ben and Emil. Oh, sorry. I forgot. What? I'm, I'm not in the commercial right now. <laughs> sorry. Was I just... Then go fuck yourself. And go fuck yourself. <laughs>
So I spazzed out. No, but actually, <clears> though, if you don't subscribe to their channel, then go fuck yourself. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So, dude, tell us about your Palm Sprig weekend. I mean, it was just normal. It was beautiful, actually. It was uh, uh, one of my best friend's weddings. Um, it's a great weekend. The, I like. The, I really like weddings. Yeah. Yeah. I used to not like them, and now now that my like good friends are getting married, sure, it's just like it's fun. I don't know. It's just good energy all weekend. Yeah. People are just just down to love, you know. <laughs> are these weddings or like swingers parties? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Palm Spring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Palm Swing. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's down to love. <laughs> <laughs> they are, dude. DTL. What do you mean by down to love? Just love's in the air. People <laughs> yeah. are just more like, yeah, let's fucking, we love you. <laughs> yeah. You know, friends. <laughs> it just like makes you grateful. Okay. For the relationships that you made in your life, you know? Yeah, that's a, that's a profound thought to have when you're all fucking each other by the pool. Yeah, exactly. The yeah, whole plus wedding party. gets sucked off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting sucked off by some random wedding attendants. <laughs> random wife. bridesmaid. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, love is in the air. <laughs> I'm down to love right now. Yeah. <laughs> you down to love later? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super down to love. What about you? You down to love my wife? Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck yeah. Down to love you too, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's all love each other, dude. Love's in the air. <laughs> you, you should go and love yourself. You get that? Yeah, it's a little Justin Bieber reference. Sorry, I was distracted by. Hey, what's happening? Uh, doing repairs. Always. Ship's constantly broken. Yeah. Well, you know, we got. I'm surprised we don't just like just get sucked out one day. Yeah. You know. If that was the case, you'd catch me just pinned up against the <laughs> wall, my waist in the hole. <laughs> I'm, just, getting, I'm getting loved by space. Getting right loved now. off by space, dude. <laughs> <laughs> getting loved off <laughs> yo gra the gravity in here was kind of off but it seems like it's plugged back up <laughs> just some dude just against the wall like rolling his eyes just... <laughs> oh god his dick's just like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> space is sick <laughs> speaking of space um elon what did he do besides like deceive the entire sec uh, yeah, I don't know. So he he, you know, we talked about it last week. He bought a huge stake in Twitter, and then <sighs> said that he was going to be on the Twitter board. You know, he and like the CEO was like, "Yeah, hey, Elon's going to be on our board." You know, welcome. He's yeah, going to yeah. be like a great, you know, a much needed voice on the board of Twitter or whatever. And then they posted a couple days ago. Oh, psych! That's not actually happening anymore. Yeah, because he's um, he didn't disclose his purchase, so now they had to walk his ass back. No, but he's still. He still, like, bought the shares. No, no, he still owns them. But I think I thought that's why he couldn't be on the board. I don't know. There's something about like not being able to own more than 14 percent of a company if you're on the board. Got so it. people are like, well, maybe he wants to buy more. Interesting. Um, and then finally delete Hassan's Twitter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. That's all he wants. Yeah. That's what I like to imagine. Yeah. A horrible ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I will blackball you. <laughs> <laughs> then, then he calls Jeff and he's like, listen, I know we don't see eye to eye, but I have a favor to ask. I need you to ban this Twitch streamer. <laughs> did you see, did you, I, you know what? I was, you probably didn't see this. What? I was on TMZ.com this morning. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't see this. <laughs> you know, I was like, why the fuck did I yeah. see this? Yeah. Jeff Bezos and his new wife yeah went out for a double date with who do you think just guess any hollywood couple right now him and pete yep nailed it why 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 would that be a double date because kim and jeff are in their billionaires group chat they have a billionaires group chat where they talk about these things and they brag about their young new things you think you think yeah. that's what it is yeah definitely yeah maybe and and pete it's awkward for Pete because you know it's it's a male dominated group. We haven't right. we haven't solved the the sexism the equality thing. and billionaires problem. Yeah. yeah, right. So he is with all the side chicks, or like the new wives, and he's just the only dude. Yeah. But the you know this dangerous territory because he's starting to charm them up. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. The billionaires are like, hey, 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 yeah, yeah. Kim, <laughs> keep that. You gotta one. put a leash on this guy. Jesus. Huh? 
I'm gonna fuck this whole house. I'm gonna love this whole house. Yeah, <laughs> it is a wedding. He's we are... really down to love, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Where do they go to eat? I don't know. Like, where was it? What is it? What is the captain John and say? Benny's. <laughs> Looks like it was at Jeff's pad. Oh, Jeff's house. Oh, okay. His pad, his basher pad. Nice. Yeah, but um, yeah. No, how the fuck did they get in there? This these paparazzi, man. That's what I'm saying. They just wait outside of his house. Yeah, I think so. Actually. God, that sucks. You ever go to Craig's in West Hollywood? <sighs> no. Yeah, we talked about it. How they're always just kind of there. Did we talk about that? Yeah. And didn't they like you know? Didn't they like go to fire a photo of you and they're like, eh? No, no, no. They didn't they just look at you. They go, hmm. Uh, nah. Got it. And then we're like, eh, should we walk by again? <laughs> Are you guys sure? <laughs> I could like whatever. I mean, like whatever you want. They're like, oh, we want you to move out of the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. So you get one of me on the street then or? Yeah, yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Walk down yeah, the street. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, of course they went on a double date. I just want to know what that conversation was like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't even imagine what they would talk about what they would damn jeff kind of a big house yeah that's my <laughs> that's your pete davidson uh, impression i don't really know what his voice sounds like off the top of my head and then kim's like <laughs> thank you this is a big house jeff <laughs> and then, then, then jeff's girlfriend is like tonight at nine robbery taking place like she's still in reporter mode <clears throat> <laughs> Does that? <laughs> Damn! If Pete Davidson ever g- goes back to comedy, his special is gonna sound insane. Yeah, yeah. So Kanye's trying to kill me. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the first line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, turns out my dick is big enough to fuck Kim and uh, <laughs> yeah. Wasn't big enough for Ariana. It was big enough. For, uh, whatever the hell. Yeah, there's you know there's okay. some people that are like. Just good at like remaining famous. Yeah. Just by being in the same vicinity, just by being talked about. Yeah. Pete obviously right now is like the best at that mm-hmm. for some reason. But the best part is he doesn't even say anything. <clears throat> That's what I mean. Yeah. He's just fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. Jeff Bezos, Kanye, like <clears throat> it's just nuts. He knocked them all down. Yeah. Only le- only thing left from here is like Russian oligarch. Yeah. Like Pete and Putin. Yeah. Oh damn it. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, Elon like went to Ukraine or something, or like told them he launched like um, Starlink satellites, like claiming like he was going to provide internet for them. Elon? Yeah, and then just never did that. No way, really. Yeah, but just like tried to just insert himself into that whole. Is that thing. true? Something like Google that. that. Yeah, here we go. Elon Musk, SpaceX sent thousands of Starlink satellite internet dishes to Ukraine. Company's yeah, but president it's like, says <laughs> he could just. He just said that. Like it's not like they didn't actually do it. He's not like offering internet or anything. Like yeah, just, they just like said that because no one can actually verify. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they're up there. Yeah, we uh, we don't see them on our Wi-Fi list. Yeah. No, we put them up there. They're, yeah, they're yeah there. no, you're there. They're it's because your computers suck. Yeah. If you bought uh, yeah, Tesla computers, computers you yeah. can connect to our Starlink. Yeah. Hey guys, I want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor for today's episode, DoorDash. Did you forget that one thing at the store, idiot? Well, now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. 30 minutes. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get uh, the grocery store essentials you need with DoorDash, too. You can get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering is easy. You just open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be set left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support Australia. You can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. And for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TINY. Yeah, that's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TINY. Don't forget, code TINY, 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. By the way, we're going to watch the funniest video in the bonus. We can't watch it in the free because... Uh, it's like filled with copyrighted music, but it's <clears throat> Elon at the what's the Tesla conference called? Uh, Giga Fest? No, VidCon. Giga Giga Chad? Cyber Rodeo. 
Cool, man. <clears throat> no, that's really cool. I call it a cyber rodeo because yeah. uh, uh, my stock portfolio is just, it's a bull market for me all day, every day. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. And that ass wipe. I, I, was, I was out there in San Jose, you know, and we ran up to San Francisco. Tesla, How was it? Tesla heaven. Mm -hmm. How was it? Um, Santa Cruz is cool. It's my first time there. Santa Cruz is the shit. Yeah, went went down to the little boardwalk there with all the. What the hell are they doing with a haunted house, on the boardwalk? Yeah, that's where. Uh, isn't that where, that movie was shot? The um, Jordan Peele movie, uh, Us or whatever. Is that where they shot us? You think so? Yeah. Oh, was that? Oh, was that that haunted house? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I just walked by and it was hot as hell outside. And the line for this haunted house was huge. I just thought it was hilarious that in the in the middle Fucking of April, what? yeah, the middle of April, and it's you know hot as shit, and there's people just walking off the beach, getting a line to go to a haunted house, which I guess like why wouldn't you? Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, yeah the, the carnival is weird, or the little amusement park. It creeps though. me the fuck out. Is what? it still going? Like there's oh yeah, coasters are still going and everything. Oh yeah. What is it about a boardwalk that people are like, it's time to die? Whoever it was, yeah, looked at that and was like, these people need to be scared here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the the one that trips me out is like the pseudo ski lift that just has the, the little seats with the umbrellas. Yeah. It's, you know, I understand a Ferris wheel. It's like a, actually, I don't. Both are the same to me. Yeah. I just don't know why you'd want to just go fucking just enough feet in the air to completely break your legs. Yeah. 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 You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not high enough to die, <laughs> but if that thing were to go south, like it's enough to mangle you. <laughs> yeah. It's just enough for you to feel excruciating pain and potentially have lifelong damage. Yeah. Why? But not enough to die. Yeah. Had a, I had my first deep fried Oreo. Oh, okay. I felt. Yeah. That's it right there. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. That's not even a fun ride. No. You just, Stupid! It's some, it's like some dumb roller coaster tycoon ride that you put up, and you're like, "Watch this, dude! I'm gonna run boats into it and yeah. kill all the yeah, yeah. people yeah. riding it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still it was it was, a, it was a fun time. Deep fried Oreos. You ever had one? Yeah, yeah, I've had all the deep fried shit. <laughs> I was, it was a, you know. I felt so gluttonous. Oh, yeah. I like bit into that. I was like, mm, why do I want 40? Yeah. It just felt weird. That's where all your gains went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I ate the deep fried Oreo and it just <laughs> sucked me out. Yeah. It was down to love my body. Yeah. Man, I'm trying to think what else we did. We ran up to that lookout where you can see the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. That was pretty... That was pretty nice. Nice. Yeah. Saw Mrs. Doubtfire's house. Okay. The best part was we went to the street with the full house house. Yeah. And there's all these people like st standing outside. And uh, <laughs> I think Tom was like, I wonder what house it is as we're pulling up. I was like, dude, stop right in front of him. And so he parks right in front. And I roll down the window and I'm like, is this the house? They're like, yeah, this big group. They're all excited. I'm like, cool. We're just going to park right here for a second. <laughs> None of them laughed. They all were like so angry. And then Tom like drove away two seconds later. Like you were on the street, like separating the park from the house uh, and they were all looking at the house or No, what? like like the house isn't even by the park. Like it's just on a street. No, there's a park across the way. No, those aren't the actual full house houses. They use that shot, but the actual house is oh, a different what? street. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. But... So, yeah, so it's just like they're on the sidewalk opposite the home because they're trying to get a picture of it, and we just park right in front of them. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, we're just going to park right here for a sec if that's cool. That's the hardest I've bombed in <laughs> many, many years. And you're like, you know what? Then fuck you then. Yeah. That was like worse than a three-person open mic. <laughs> it, blistering silence in <laughs> like, daylight. Why would he say that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He's an asshole. He's just being an asshole, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want a picture of the full house. Yeah, house. yeah the Look, kids my are daughter's crying. crying now. Yeah. You happy? 
Oh, you're a comedian? Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Cool. Funny guy. Yeah. Nice. Where are you playing tonight to make sure we don't go there? <laughs> Do you hand out tissues for crying children? Yeah. You fucking dick. So then, so then we go, we park, we get out, and this is the best part. <laughs> These people are lined up. They're taking pictures. Some family goes up to Tom's like, can you get a picture of us? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I got you. They line up. He fires the picture. They're all excited. They leave. Tom like thinks about it for a second, and he's like, yo, they stood in front of the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone there was taking pictures of the wrong house. <laughs> it was like the one just over, and they're all just like, funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the one to the, <laughs> the right. The haunted-ass one? Yeah. They got it all wrong, dude. <laughs> we were crying. So wait, the shot of the houses on whatever that street is. Yeah. All the colorful ones. Mm -hmm. That's not the actual no. set. No. Huh. Learn something new every day. Ah! Yeah. That's the one right there. Yeah. Yeah, that park is sick. What is it? Alamo Park? Yeah. Did you guys take the old Caltrain? No. Uh, you drove? Yeah. Because mm. we were down there in San Joe. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Had to make the trek. San Josie. Let me make the long trek. As my, that um, that little downtown area in Santa Cruz had some of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. Damn. Yeah. Never been there. I made one. some really good ones last week. Yeah? Yeah, my best batch ever, I think. <laughs> Seriously. How many did you make? I don't know. Like, you know a Baker's does? 13? Isn't it 12? Isn't a Baker's dozen 12? Oh, I thought a Baker's dozen is 13. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would a baker's doesn't be 13? Cuz it's one extra. Yeah, they make an extra Why for would themselves. A baker's doesn't just be a dozen. <laughs> oh, because I thought that's just like a dozen. I don't know. I thought that's where it came from. 13. So one for him. Yeah. Or her, sorry. Yeah. Oh, who's the sexist one now? No, I'm him or her. I'm just saying. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice, dude. Either. Nice. Oh, only men can bake. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Here you are putting me to the fire about periods. Uh, and no, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what is it? A baker's dozen means 13 instead of 12. The tale behind the origin is that a medieval law... Wait, what? A medieval law specified that weight? of weight of bread loaves and any baker who supplied less to a customer was in for dire punishment. Holy shit. So, so bakers would include a 13th loaf with each dozen just to be safe. Wait, what? I thought, it was, oh, I thought that's this was so like dark. That's one of those so like cute things where it's like, yeah, it's one for the baker. The baker's you know? dozen origins from a time where if you were underweight, they cut off all your fingers. <laughs> and made damn well sure you'd never bake again. Oh, damn. They were just, they just wanted to kill back then, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Any excuse to use that. That was entertainment. Like that town square with like the guillotine where they locked people's heads and yeah. wrists into wood. Like... Any reason, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's not giving me a dozen of loaves. What? What? No, no, dude. <laughs> this man stole from me. No, there's fucking 12, right? Look at, count the loaves. It's Shut up. Not enough weight. Tie him to the horses. You were taking a little nibble on the way here in the car. Oh, yeah. You. He's the one who chews with his <laughs> teeth. We should have known about you. You have all your teeth. I made 12. I didn't do shit. All the loaves are here. And he's lying. He's lying, you can tell. Cut out his tongue. Ah, baker's lie, huh? <laughs> baker's lie, baker's <laughs> dozen, baker's lie, baker's dozen. Cut his tongue out. <laughs> no, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't. Uh, <laughs> no, they cut his tongue what? out and stuff his face. Oh, now you can't speak English all of a sudden. <laughs> he cut his tongue out and stuff his mouth full of bread. Yeah. That should stop it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Getting violent these episodes, man. Seriously. Yeah. Anyways, man, you Jack Harlow single. <laughs> yeah, there's yep. Yep. What do you think? Um There is one one line I really like. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do you know the one I'm talking about? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good line. Sweet. Sweet. You know all about that, man. That's, that's three sweets. That's part of your program. <laughs> that's true. That's why I'm that's what you're that saying. Line. You're like, sweet. Sweet. <laughs> that's, that's my Same. first on my gym playlist, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, that's in between def- swigs of horse semen. Sweet, sweet, sweet semen. Ooh. <laughs> there the it is right there. Three sweets. Let it sweet. be known. Sweet. Pineapple juice. I give her sweet, sweet, sweet semen. <clears throat> man, I crawled out of my skin when I first heard that line. Yeah. No, it's, I was it's like, a- man, this song's been going crazy viral. It's not even out yet. Fuck yeah. And then like Thursday at 9 p.m., I'm like, oh, fuck, it's on my release. Yeah, f- listen to it. Yeah, it's good. I'm liking the sweet, sweet, sweet semen. <gasps> oh. It's a. It's definitely a, it's a, it's the fourth line. In the verse, yeah. Yeah, so it's a pretty, it's it's jarring because it's a very abrupt way to let you know that this song is not for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's very true. You walked into ladies' night. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. You're just dancing in your room, you're like, hey, wait, what? <laughs> What's up? Oh, um, oh, yeah, let me take these out. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. And your boy's like, yo, put on that new jack. Ah, it's not for us, man. <laughs> it's not our song. <laughs> He'll get us on the next one. This ain't. This one's not for us. Yeah. yeah. He's he's out there, you know, fucking the world. So. Yeah, I mean, I saw some tweet or something that was like, you know, he's not gonna stop until there's no more girls left. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's that's pretty apt. Yeah. An apt description of what he's doing. Yeah, because every dude's like, ah, oh, this this sucks. This was a miss for me. This does not hit. And then you have to understand, he's taking all fifty percent of the world for himself. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Babbel. Babbel. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high, sc- a high point in our academic careers. Now thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that's sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling around, connecting in a deeper way with family, or just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. I love using Babbel to improve (laughs) my language skills. I'm currently learning French because it's my favorite love language. Am I good at it? Oui. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and and accent. (laughs) There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So begin your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save 60% off. Excuse me, up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babble.com slash TMG. That's babble.com slash TMG for up to 60% off your subscription. Babble, language for life. I just, I mean, like, I like the chorus. Yeah. I don't mind. Like, the, the sample's incredible. Yeah. The chorus is like, he says like four words in the chorus and it's still like, damn, this is good. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't, rappers just do that shit. I feel like they do it on purpose. What? Like, can I out swag just the worst thing that I could possibly say. Like the most unlistenable word. Sure. How can I prove that I'm fucking cool? Yeah. Is by saying the most unlistenable word and still like make people listen to it. Yeah. And vibe out to it and sing it. Yeah. Semen? (laughs) Semen. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet semen. Yeah. Oh. For you? I'm for girls too. Uh, Who knows? When have you ever heard a girl say, give me some of that semen? I think if Jack is saying it, I think, you know, I think they get hypnotized. Right. Like, you know. You can semen wherever you want. Yeah. No, they just eyes start swirling and they're like, sweet, sweet, sweet semen. Sweet, sweet, sweet semen. <laughs> it's the same feeling I have when I see a go kart. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> just. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it is a super unlistenable word. It's tough. Hey, he went for it though. You know what's funny? As I'm li- like, when you play the song, it should have been readily apparent for all dudes in the first five seconds that that song was not for dudes. Because, mm-hmm. uh, uh, like, the way he's just kind of ad libbing the chorus. But really, when he said, I can put you in first class, that's when every guy should have been like, I don't think he's talking to me. <laughs> no, no, he is. He's talking about a boy's trip. Oh, that's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That was the frat guy in you. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Jack's but, taking us to yo, Cabo, yeah. bro. 
<laughs> Combo vacation on Jack. Let's go. What's that? Private jet. That's what you're talking about, right? I could put you in first class. Dude, you're such a my boy Jack. That's the homie right there. I love bro. singing that line, bro. He's always looking he out. He always puts me in first class. <laughs> He's thinking of me, dude. Yeah. He thought of me when he wrote he this. He thought of me. Yeah, yeah. The semen line. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's for me. I don't know if that's for me. You know, he could be talking about like Tequila. Tequila kind of tastes like nut. <laughs> <laughs> Just a frat guy justifying yeah. in his head. How do you know that, man? <laughs> what? I don't. I don't. I just assume. I'm yeah, assuming. I'm just, if I were. Semen tastes bad, right? Like, yeah. I wouldn't taste it ever. So I'm assuming you know, te tequila doesn't taste the best. But, you know, people like tequila pineapple, so. Yeah. No, I think I think it's for us still, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just going down the. No, because he meant like Cloud Nine. Like he wasn't on like Angus Clouds Nine, <laughs> dude. <laughs> it wasn't on his Nine, bro. Like he's on like Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. Like he's and lit. Angus is his boy, you know. And I think I could be boys with Angus too. Yeah, he seems like a chiller. Like Angus definitely reminds us of people we know. So. Yeah. No, it's for it's for us, dude. It's for us, <laughs> like, for sure. I, I just you know, uh, I, I I think I like the chorus. I like the beat. You know, ladies, I want to know: is that semen line was that as jarring to you as it was for me? I think it's I think it's pretty jarring for a lot of people. It makes me not want to play the song again. It's a it's a tough one to play out loud. Yeah, <laughs> I can't li I can't hear that sweets like just. One sweet would have been bad enough. <laughs> yes, the tension he does. To yeah, sweet, up. sweet, sweet. Well, what's he gonna? Semen. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what are some other like really unlistenable words? Panties. That's a bad one for me. I like how you hit the T on that. Panties. Yeah. Panties. Yeah. Panties. Oh, like what about like uh? Fabio Foreign, that song where he goes, shitting, pooping. Oh, that's super listenable. Shitting. What are you talking pooping. about? <laughs> yeah, that really is. That's, actually. that's super listenable. Just I sing that, that all the time. Yeah, actually. just that on loop. I sing that all the time. On loop, bro. Forget the shit rest in, of the song. Pooping. Bring that up real fast. Yeah, Fabio Foreign. Just search shitting, shit and pooping. No, search shit and pooping jersey remix. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, some some kid, like he made one. <laughs> And then I like tweeted at him like, "Dude, can you make this the full?" He's like, "Got you." <laughs> like a few hours later. Oh yeah, we've just, already talked about this. Yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah. just run it. Let's go. Listenable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's what's yeah? What's an unlistenable word? I'm trying to think <clears throat> of a uh... like rappers always fucking rap about poop and shitting on people. There's a couple of those rappers they... always rap about poop. <laughs> they do. They make fucking fart and poop jokes all the time. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I had man. I heard a line the other day. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I can't remember. Oh, you know one Kodak got flamed for in his new <laughs> album. He was like. He said something like, I love my baby daddy. <laughs> and I heard it and I was like, wait, huh? <laughs> and I ran it back a few times. I'm like, Ed, is there something I'm like not getting here? That I typed a line in Twitter. And so many people were like, bro, did Kodak just say he loves his baby daddy? <laughs> it wasn't even anyone being mean. Like everyone was just like, whoa. What do you mean, man? What do you man? mean? What, what does that mean? How is that possible? It's just a head fuck. Head fuck of a line. Because that one what comes out of nowhere, say, too. I love my baby daddy's sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that one comes out of nowhere, too. Like, the song is like, it's like, good. And your vibe says, I love my baby daddy. You're like, wait, huh? <laughs> wait, who? Wait, sorry. <laughs> back up, back up, back up, back up. Fuck, that's funny. That's one of the few times I've actually gone to genius. I mean, like, maybe someone will... And I just went, and then they just highlighted that line. It was just three question marks. 
<laughs> just, just, huh? <laughs> what does it mean? What do you mean, bro? <clears throat> I love my baby daddy. Yeah. I think I, I think like Drake has some really unlistenable. Yeah, well, yeah. Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, yeah. He takes the cake for weird ass lines. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm brain dead right now, so I don't have any off the top of my head. But yeah, every rapper, Jack has just fallen victim to what happens when you have too much cool. Yeah, I mean, he, but he does the same thing in fucking uh, uh, what's his biggest song, Jack? Uh, what's poppin'? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jimmy I mean, Neutron, whatever. Give her, give her the penis or whatever he says. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the remix. Jimmy Neutron, I'm a young boy genius. Some, 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 give her that penis. Mm, yeah. That to me, penis is super unlistenable. No, penis? That's, that's semen? hilarious. No. Why are you rapping in medical terms? No, I'm, I'm arguing back on penis. It's hilarious to say penis. It's, I, but it, that's not listenable. No, nah, it is. Yo, there, oh man. Hold on. Let me look up this group. There's a group that Breezy Bruin was in. <clears throat> uh,. This is, this is a fucking. This is a deep cut. Um, God damn it! What is the name of this group? Breezy Bruin. Ah, fuck. Juggernauts. They have a song, and <laughs> fucking Breezy Bruin is rapping about like drinking with a girl, and just he goes, "You like penis a lotta? like." Yeah. Yeah, 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 and that's the first time I heard penis used in like an effective way <laughs> okay. in like rap music. I'm like, that was hilarious. I respect that. That was tough. Yeah, okay. You like penis a lot of okay. I'm so gonna I'm, respectfully I'm argue, disagree. I'm gonna argue back that penis can be funny. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe people maybe they should start using more medical terms. <laughs> Fuck slang. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Use the doctor's book way of saying. I'm that. playing a revolver. sucking on a labia um i'm supreme when i pull back her clitoral hood (laughs) (laughs) yeah you know what i'm saying as speaking of rappers too this fucking the baby clip yeah well I, i just wanted to say about too much cool yeah, yeah. You hit a certain level, like, if you have too much sex, like, you, you just start talking and acting in a way that most people can't relate to. Right. I think when you fuck a lot, you get away with saying crazy stuff. Yeah. You have, like, a, a new level of confidence. I had two friends that, uh, you know, they were hot dudes, and they were, like, kind of just casually, like, dropping stories about, like, the results of them fucking, and then... One of them goes, oh, remember that, remember that, uh, like that lady that paid our rent? And they started laughing. They're like, oh yeah, that was crazy. I'm like, what do you got? What? I'm sorry. Run that back. And then my boy was like, oh yeah, now nah, I was, I was fucking this MILF and, um, we fucked. And I just told her like, ah, we're kind of short on the rent and <laughs> boom, rent payment. <laughs> she just sent it to me right there. I was like. Like he was doing OnlyFans before OnlyFans. Yeah, right, right. But he was that a sugar baby. No, it wasn't even that. He was like a cub or whatever. It wasn't even like a built up relationship though. Yeah. He, I mean, yes, yes, it is like a sugar baby thing. But that is crazy to just dick someone down and then they're like, "Oh, I want you to come back." Yeah. <laughs> I want you around for another yeah, month. Yeah. I want you, you know, take. It, it's a <clears throat> crazy thing. So I think. When you fuck a lot, you just you can say crazy stuff and wear crazy shit. Yeah, all because there's no like, there's no there's no one to like check you. Yeah, there's no yeah there's because no, you don't need to do anything. No, or prove anything anymore. So no. it's like MGK for example. <laughs> okay, wow, well, pivot. <laughs> well, I'm just saying he probably fucks a lot. Yeah, you know, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna wear fishnets all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter if it's one or multiple people if you're fucking a lot. Yeah. I guess I lean, I err more on the fucking a lot of people side <clears throat> makes you weird because there's no sense of rejection. Mm. Like that's where the confidence comes from to wear crazy stuff. Like it <clears throat> doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't like, yeah. how far can I push this? 
that all the all these like conservative guys that got mad at Harry Styles about the dress, they don't understand. Yeah, that dude has just fucked a ton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now it's yeah. just a game to him. You, they do the same shit. Yeah, if they fucked as much <laughs> <Yeah>. as Harry. <laughs> he just woke up and he's like, "Yeah, I'm put on a dress." Yeah, it's not even a game. It's like, how can I? How can life remain exciting anymore? Yeah, yeah. You know, I've done it all. I've done it all. I've toured the world. Every time I get on stage, you know. Men and women alike. I can fuck whoever I want, yeah. whenever I want. Yeah. So I'm gonna put on a fucking dress today. Yeah. Just to see what that's like. Yeah. It's like it's like Prince. You like transcend sexuality. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> so Jack is getting like the first layer of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, like when you're in like that Prince, like Harry Styles category, you know, when you do a concert and you have, you know, grown men like sitting there like hot in their panties yeah yeah <laughs> like damn this guy can sing yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> hey guys we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode framebridge listen dude i have to tell you about this amazing new service i've found oh yeah it's called framebridge okay can i tell you about it yep framebridge makes it super easy and affordable to frame your favorite things from art prints and posters to the travel photos sitting on your phone you don't say yeah seriously and with mother's day right around the corner Framebridge also makes the perfect gift. In fact, select gifts that ship the next day. Whoa. You know what's weird? I've also heard of Framebridge. No I can way. tell you exactly how it works. What's the URL? Uh, you just go to framebridge.com and oh. you upload your photo. Um, or they'll send you packaging to safely mail in your physical pieces, mm. if you so choose. Uh, you can preview your item online in dozens of frame styles and gallery wall layouts. Choose your favorite or get free recommendations from their talented designers. Oh. Because Lord knows you stink at it. Mm -hmm. The experts at Framebridge will custom frame your item and deliver your finished piece directly to your door, ready to hang. Yeah, and instead of the hundreds you'd pay at a framing store, because I know you don't have that, their prices start at $39. That's actually awesome. <laughs> and all shipping is free. That is really great. Framing is like weirdly expensive. It is. Not on Framebridge. Nope. Plus, our listeners will get 15% off their first order at framebridge.com when they use our code TMG. Yeah. Order online at framebridge.com or stop by a Framebridge store to work with a designer in person if you're in New York, D.C., Atlanta, Philly, Boston, or Chicago. Moms are always juggling work, homes, homeschooling, and everything else. They deserve to be acknowledged for all of their constant love and hard work. We love moms. Oh, we love we, moms. Oh, we love moms. Yeah, we do. We love moms on this show. That's why we're sending a Framebridge gift to our moms. I'll be sending one to Noelle's mom. For sure. <laughs> I'll be sending one to Cody's mom. So how do you get started? You can get started today, actually. Frame your photos or send someone the perfect gift. Go to framebridge.com and use promo code TMG to save an additional 15% off your first order. Just go to framebridge.com, promo code TMG. Framebridge.com, promo code TMG. So Jack is just experiencing like the first layer. He's just experimenting with things that he can say. Yeah. Like he's like, what, what, what off-putting shit can I say right I'm now? Just, you know, yeah, she's sucking on my ass cheeks. And you're like, what? Yeah. That'll be the next one. Mm -hmm. Some weird, something weird like that. Yeah. Where you're like, I can't even really picture that happening. What do you mean she's sucking on your ass cheeks? Mm -hmm. What does that do for you? <laughs> you know what I mean? She going down on my belly button. Yeah. Huh? She picked the lint out of my belly button. What? Yeah. So I just, you know, I just make her pick it out because I can. Yeah. Because, you know. Okay. Turn up. I just put a, little, <laughs> I put a little dirt in there so she has a little something to find later. <laughs> what are some other ones? Um, uh, we got to make a song like that. Girl, actually. you a lesbian, girl, me too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just weird. Just the most off-putting lines that don't make any sense. Yeah, that's why <laughs> That's why Drake didn't even see that line as being off-putting at all. He didn't think that shit was weird. He just, you know. Just <laughs> yeah. It just his eyes are rolled up in his head. What yeah. stupid ass thing yeah, can yeah, I say? Yeah, you know? yeah. Because I fuck a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you write this? It doesn't matter what I say. <laughs> when are you gonna get that through your mind? I could. No matter what I say, I'm gonna go platinum. I'm gonna fuck whoever I want. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like learning Simlish, like from like yeah, in the yeah, Sims game. Yeah. It just. It's like, watch this, man. I wanted to make, yeah. And just, no, just walking up to women in the club, just being like, 
Fuck doing that? Yeah. What's the hash and blah? I hung out with Drake last night. I couldn't understand a thing he said. But I don't we, know. He's drunk or something. We made but... out for a long time. <laughs> yeah. That shit was crazy. How did he? What did he say to you to get to <laughs> get him to make out or get you to make he out? He was just him? like, <laughs> I don't think he said a single English word. Actually, I think he spoke in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just went. <laughs> <clears throat> so I don't know, man. Whatever, you know, ladies chime in. You know, let us know. It's going to be an overwhelming amount of comments on this episode that are like, you don't know anything about periods and you don't know anything about our consumption of Jack Harlow. But yeah. that said. I think that they're going to agree with me. That semen is unlistenable? Yes, yes. The word semen is unlistenable. It's unlistenable. I think, yes, in isolation, the word semen is unlistenable. But as a as a complete package, I think Jack is still winning. Yeah, yeah, totally. Absolutely, he's still winning. But yeah, yeah. No, and, I'm you know, really looking forward to his album. I think it's going to be great. I concede as well that... I think se- he's doing everything right. right semen now. is an unlistenable line. Yeah, okay. Actually, I'm going to go one step further and say it's almost good to put out a song that is so jarring like this. Why? Because now people are talking about you. Yeah, yeah. Gets under their skin. This song is fucking booty. Yeah. He's like, I know. Yeah. Because that's exactly what I'm going to get from it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People shaking ass. <laughs> When he hit, when he says that line at whatever festival he does next, and every girl there is like, "Sweet, sweet," that's when every dude is gonna go, "Oh, oh, fuck, this is not for us." Yeah. What about ejaculate? I think someone could pull off ejaculate. You think so? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Jack, uh, use ejaculate. <laughs> use that, dude. You know, kind of plays ejaculate. with the name. I just thought of a horrible one. What? <laughs> Do it. You know, I'm coming the way they say ejaculate. Like, oh, <laughs> there's something there. There's something there. <laughs> see, I could totally see him saying <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And that's unlistenable. Until you're in the club, like, I'll put ejaculate. You in the first, ejaculate. Yeah. You see me coming the way ejaculate. <laughs> Something like that. I'm coming hard when they say ejaculate. Yeah. Oh, whoa, oh, Barla. Anyways, yeah, the baby kissing a fan. That was crazy. Oh, dude. my God. He dude. looks wasted in that. I know, clip. right? He just out of it. Just, it was almost like he came to after he tried to kiss her. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, pause. I love when like these like rap. Like these hip hop like blog accounts or whatever. Yeah. They always try to bait you. They always use pictures of the baby smiling. Right. And like line it up with something really jarring that he's doing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fair, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Tim L. Ameo. What is he doing? He's like, no. 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 Don't no. no. try to kiss it, like, fan. Why? Like, he he went for it as if it was something he does at every meet and greet. Yeah. He did that presidential. Like, I'm going to kiss this yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. I know what you want. Come here. <laughs> Let me like, kiss Whoa. that baby. Yeah. She's like, whoa, what the fuck? Fucking weird. <laughs> Dude, it's so bizarre. Dude, it was weird as hell. Actually, I had a hilarious interaction with someone last night. Went to see, uh, you know, uh, you know, everything is everywhere all at once or all t- whatever. And <laughs> I still don't know the title because yeah. I'm brain dead. But someone comes up and he's like, no, well, I'm like, hey. It's like, oh, my God. Wow. Uh, geez, I'm a big fan. I'm like, yeah, I appreciate it. She's like, can I give you a hug? I was like, huh? She's like, that was weird. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I Sorry. All the time. She's like, oh, that was, yeah, no. Nah, she starts having an existential crisis. She's like, yeah, that was that was really fucking weird. I have no idea why I said that. Then her boyfriend was looking at her like, it's, it's fine. Like, uh, then she just walks away, just muttering. I don't know why. I don't know why I did. I don't know why I did. But I feel I feel like that's a normal thing. For I mean, like I don't think it's normal, but people do end up asking that. Yeah, I've had that multiple times. I I think it's just like an instinctual thing because it doesn't come from a weird place. Yeah, just like oh man, like damn, I've been watching you forever, dude. Like, just, you know, it's like friendly. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> but then, but then, yeah, you say it out loud. Yeah, you're like, can I oh, embrace you? Can, what? Can I hold you closely for a second? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I can't smell you enough from here. Would you mind? 
<laughs> have we hugged? <laughs> Yo, that was a weird ass question I got in a show. Oh my god, doing a Q and A, and this girl goes, "What do you smell like?" The whole room was like, "Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she say?" Bourbon. Bur yeah. That's what you gotta say in the South. <laughs> I should have just said like shit. Yeah, like fart. Like fart. <laughs> I haven't showered in three days. Oh man, I poop myself. Sitting, pooping, <laughs> sitting, pooping, pooping, sitting, sitting, poop, poop, I'm shitting, <clears throat> shitting. Um. Oh damn it! I forgot all about Sausalito Karen. Oh yeah, tell me about her. It's it's just like you know we're having a good day. We're running around the town just seeing things. Um, we we end up in Sausalito to grab some cheeseburgers and the day was going too good you know something weird had to happen okay and we just like turn over and there's this this is like some karen lady with an ice cream just barking at some guy and his family i don't know what she was yelling at him about and apparently she didn't instigate it but it was just like the scene you know there's all these people creating a small circle she's like well don't fucking uh, yeah and you know what uh, not all with the ice cream and then she just walks by eating the ice cream. She's like, he, he came up to me. I just didn't believe her. <laughs> okay. Something about me was like, ah, I don't know if he came up to you. But it was the it was just the short hair and the three scoops of ice cream mm -hmm. and the barking at someone while just fucking, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking, <laughs> <laughs> it was just so regular. Just didn't even. Did you get the full story? Did you go over there? No, we were trying to eavesdrop. We couldn't really get it. Oh, uh, yeah. The guy wasn't saying anything back though. So I don't know what he could have instigated. Like I watched that guy eat with his family and he didn't say shit. Hmm. He wasn't talking to his own family. <laughs> so I thought it was a little, a uh, bit of a stretch yeah. that suddenly he was attacking her. Where's Sausalito again? Um, like in County, just on the other side, Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. You never been? Nope. I have been. Yeah. I just forgot. <laughs> like where Sausalito specifically was. But. Sausalito. Sausalito. It's cool. You, you hop on the sauce. No sauce. No sauce. Just cheeseburger. <laughs> Lappert's ice cream. <laughs> Good ice cream. Yeah, man. I, I I wish there was more to that. Same. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Is it that windy out right now in space? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it gets like that. Yeah. It's that it's that great you know, it's the gravity pulling all that trash that creates that wind. Yeah. It just whizzing by. Yeah, yeah. You, we get good at tuning it out though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's empower women for the last seven minutes now that we've made fun of them all episode. We haven't made fun of them. Yeah, you're right. The period thing was a little bit awesome, you said. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? I think most women would concede that like when a period occurs, it's a shitty experience because they just feel a bunch of shit they didn't ask for. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That's what I mean when I say like, I feel like it's like an exorcism thing yeah. where they're just a passenger in their emotions. Yeah. Which is a terrible feeling. Elena's hilariously self-aware about that shit. She'll like be having a meltdown for 15 minutes, then she'll come, like she'll come to and she'll be like, Jesus is period is fucking me up <laughs> and then just leave the room <laughs> i'm like yeah you need help you know, just let me know what i, I can don't know do. What to do yeah <laughs> yeah dude oh we didn't even talk about donald glover gloving himself yeah i don't what is that he like interviewed himself for this magazine oh i saw this picture yeah was it weird um, I read like little snippets and he's just, you know, he's, he's super cool as well. It's a super cool thing to be like, to like, well, we'd love to have you. We'd love to do a piece, put you on the cover. He's like, cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll interview myself. <laughs> I will do the piece. I will be doing the piece. They're like, oh, oh, but we have writers and stuff. Nah. Mm. Okay. Well, d um, if you want to do a piece on me, I'll, I'm going to do a piece on me. <laughs> I'll proofread it too. Yeah. I'll, I'll be the editor. Yeah. I'll handle it from here. Donald Glover interviews Donald Glover. Have you been watching the new season of Atlanta? Um, I'm not caught up. Yeah, neither. Uh, but I did watch the first episode. Is it good? I was I was dying laughing, dude. Really? Yeah. It's it's a. Uh... <clears throat> I watched that opening sketch. 
uh, the two guys in the boat. That uh, was episode one, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jog my memory. <laughs> it's like that, whatever that like weird like Dutch tradition is where it's yeah. like, <laughs> they're basically doing blackface. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And they're just going around the town and yeah. Yeah. No, but the beginning is just whatever. It doesn't matter. I think I only watched the beginning. You definitely, <clears throat> I was crying laughing at the, I mean, the, spoiler alert. <laughs> like fucking, they like, they go to some, uh, I forget what it is. Like they basically go to this house and <laughs> it's like, they're pretty certain that it's Tupac. Like Tupac's actually dying for real in this house. Okay. It's so, like, isn't he dead? They're like, nah, like, he, like basically they imply that Tupac lives in Amsterdam. And there's this dude that looks like Tupac and they're like all there for like some, you know, it's like a morning. <laughs> they just fucking, they just kill him. <laughs> like they just put like a bag over his head, like plastic and they just kill him. Like Why? It's like supposed to be like some cult thing. Oh, uh, okay. Hilariously dark. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's insane. Yeah. Sorry. Just... Kid Cuddy, the thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know. Did you see, I don't know if I sent you this, it was the video of, uh, I don't know, like all this shit on Twitter now, like the narrative about the Will Smith thing has like completely changed sort of to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we just did like seven minutes of Will and Jada depressing stuff and we didn't like that. The energy is just so low right now. I yeah. Even... All the fun we were having with periods and. Let's empower some women real quick, you know? Okay. Who's your favorite woman? <laughs> inventor. Just look up top 10 women inventors. No, look up top 10 women in um, humanitarian works. Why right not now. inventors, dude? Uh, Why'd you change that? I don't know. <laughs> I was like thinking like it's it's a cop out to go with the past. So like why not honor some modern Yeah, okay, women, I got you it. You know? I got it. I know. You know who are who I was are just trying to frame you there for something. Yeah. This is oh, I like this game. Top ten women inventors. Ah, never mind. I don't think there isn't. Probably didn't come up <laughs> yeah. with anything. Top five female humanitarians. Let's go. Uh, I can't. I can't read because I'm a man. I'm gonna have to punch that up. All right. Um, damn. Just put that on screen. I don't even want to disrespect her name by fucking that up. <laughs> Um, what does she do? She's the executive director of UN Women. Let's go. Okay. All right. That's all right. Two. What the fuck is that? Uh, her last name is Pankhurst, and I'm really resisting making a joke <clears throat> out of that. Taking this very seriously. What What does she do? Uh, she was the I'm, face of know. the women's suffrage movement. Hey, we're learning something. Yeah, yeah let's go. Emmeline Pankhurst. I, I don't know why I'm just laughing at the thought of like a frat guy podcast and then being like, you know what? We should do like a women empowerment segment. That's what this Let's is. Let's empower some women. Look up top five hottest women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this woman. <laughs> yeah. I love this woman. <laughs> Malala. We know about Malala. Okay. I don't know. This list is kind of mid. No. Nah, I, <laughs> I feel like there's like other women out there. <laughs> there's other women that we haven't heard of, you know? All right, well, let's let's hop to the bonus. We yeah. empowered, we respected. <laughs> we paid our respects. Yeah, let's pay our respects. Um, thank you guys for listening. Again, Trillionaire Mindset. New channel. Um, you can go to YouTube on our channel, click the channel tab, and then it's listed there if you can't find it. If you search Trillionaire Mindset on YouTube, for some reason the channel doesn't come up yet because I don't think there's any videos on it. Yeah. But uh, you you can find it if you just dig hard enough, yeah. and uh, we'd appreciate it if you did that. Um. <laughs> But we got a lot of good shit coming up, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm still laughing at semen. <clears throat> at semen? Yeah, semen as a rap as a as a line. Jack, just know it's all love, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, no hate. I mean, it's literally when you're the one of the number one stars, yeah. artists, sort of sort sorry, in the world right now, like your art is gonna get talked about. Yeah. And critiqued and people are going to like tear apart every single little line. Yeah. The only reason why we're talking about that song is because everyone is fucking talking about it. Mm -hmm. It's got 25 million plays in three days. Yeah. What we're saying is, dude, we need a song for the boys, dude. Yeah. Do a song for us. <laughs> Let us know that we're included as well. 
don't leave us, dude. Yeah. This is what I meant by like dudes getting more emotional. Yeah. You know? Jack made a song just for the women. Now all the dudes are like, what the fuck, dude? You were my favorite rapper. And now I can't listen to the song. Like, yeah, yeah. Make a song about like beer pong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Or like flip cup. Yeah. Dude, can you make a song about poker? Or poker. Or, yeah. Like, make a song about sports betting, dude. Yeah. That would go crazy. <laughs> yeah. That would go fucking crazy. Make a song about slot machines. Yeah, dude. All right, guys. We'll see you in the bone zone. I got to pee real quick. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to pee in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs>